Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Monday, December, I'm sorry, I said December, Monday, June the 12th, 2017. All right, as we take a look at what has been going on here in these markets, let's look at a longer term broad view. This is the NASDAQ 100 futures contract, as you can see. It's come off of a high of 59.07. All right. I did tell you that we were marching uh, the 5,800 before we got there and the 59. And now 6,000 is still the target. Having a nice pullback here, setting up for the next leg up. Uh, it's uncertain how many weeks we will move sideways like this and, you know, give back a little bit. Uh, we'll have to watch it and see, you know, are we going to pick up downside momentum or is it going to snap back? History tells us for this bull move that every pullback has been bought. All right, every pullback has been bought. And although this is a weekly chart, we had two down weeks in a row and then it moved a little bit lower, but then it corrected and there you go. So since we've been moving up, in this bull market on the weekly chart, we have done nothing but continuously go up. Yeah, some big stocks got hurt in this uh, tech sector. If you look here at Apple Computer, pulling back pretty big here. Um, if you look at Google, it's pulled back too. If you look at Amazon, pullback all right going on week number two for the Amazon here's Facebook all right Facebook's a little bit choppier though it's really struggling there it's just moving sideways it's coming off of hitting another high but then reversed that was last week's situation so as you can see markets are a little weak but mostly consolidated Really no conviction to the downside. We're not crashing, not really even, even really selling off, just correcting a bit. And the market can stand that because it's had such an incredible move. Look at oil coming off a high of 107.55 a barrel down to $26.05 a barrel. And now here we are just chilling at the $46 a barrel handle. And you can see the market's just moving sideways. And we're in the Kumo cloud now. All we do is expand the range. So top side of the range now is at the 53.75. Bottom half of the range is at 43.65. So we have another perfect $10 trading range in oil. $10 trading range in crude oil. That's it. All right. Uh, getting back to some more here. Let's look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA topped out at 168.50 and is now at 149.97. So it's still super bullish, parabolically bullish. But we have this elongated ramp coming up. So an indefinite period of consolidation, long period of consolidation is coming upon us. But afterwards, we have very, very large rampage coming huge ramp coming that will help catapult this to 175 shortly so target is 175 don't know how long it's going to take us to get there it could be several weeks but that's the next target 175 for nvidia uh let's see here let's look at what's happening in the miners here's gdx consolidating moving sideways but has potential to really just break out to the upside. So this is definitely one to watch. It's just it's just sideways, really no conviction one way or the other. And you're inside the Kumo cloud of death. If you look at the junior gold miners, pretty much the same thing. It's weaker than the GDX, still trading under the Kumo cloud. And this is where you are right now, all right? So we're watching it to see if it's going to get some kind of conviction either way. But right now, we just don't 
have any clues as to what this market wants to do. Seems like every rally is still being sold, but we're not really getting any conviction. It's just like the market has a hand on it. They just won't let it rally. Just won't do it. All right, looking at the GLD. Came off a highs of 130.115. Now we're consolidated. So we're we're slightly bearish within this this consolidation. We're out of the Kumo cloud, but no real momentum. It's the momentum, as you can see here, is flat. So momentum is flat. And we're not selling off, but we're not really rallying either. And the thing to keep in, in mind is that, remember, these are um, weekly charts. So we're just consolidated here in the cloud. We're finally out of the cloud. Trend lines are out of the out of the cloud, so it has everything it needs to really uh, stage a rally here. But I don't think we're going to see that until we can get a close above 122.50. So my hopeful initial target for gold to build momentum is 122.50. If that can happen, then we're good to go. All right, and basically this is the season for for gaming. So EA Sports and all the other game makers and Sony and Nintendo, they should all be catching a bid here, all right, coming up soon. But as you can see, Microsoft had a little problem last week, but it's trying to catch its footing now. So all things being equal, I think the tech sector is going to be brought up pretty big coming up here. Just my opinion on this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at one of my favorite here. GameStop. As you can see, it's been in a downtrend. And hopefully what's going on with the, um, the whole conventions with the games, maybe this will help. GameStop a little bit and it catch a bid. It's been consolidated too for a long time. Really nothing going on here. So maybe it'll catch a bid. We'll see. Um, Microsoft, you know, is revealing Xbox X or whatever you call it. So there's just a lot of things coming out, you know, and this could really help boister some, 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 some prices. We'll see. Price action has just been a little, you know, a little weak, non-existent. A little boring. Natural gas, all right, it's trying to do a little something. You know, we had this giant pullback from three forty to three dollars right below three dollars. Now it's managing to struggle. It's struggling here at this trend line with the three dollars. It's in the Kuma cloud of death. Anything can happen. It can fall to the bottom of the cloud, rally back up to the top of the cloud. Who knows? In what order? But the one thing is we got a little bit of a arching upward coming up. So this could be interesting. I think for the long term, I'm holding to my natural gas call to four to five, six dollars, but it's just taking some doing to get there. Uh let's see what else did I want to show or talk about. Oh, Bitcoin. BTSC has been pulling back along with Bitcoin after hitting 3,000. Now it's pulling back. We hit 20 cents. Now it's pulled back to uh, to 8 cents. Still bullish. Corrected all of this. This is a lot of just noise, man. A lot of noise in here. 253 million shares last week, which is incredible. So far this week, only 13 million shares. So this uh, this one is interesting, to say the least. GBTC, pretty much the same story. All right, last week we had 459,000 shares. This week, we're only at 188 so far. And in this week here, we had 1.2 million. So... You know, it's it's fair. It's just chilling. It's sideways now after this amazing breakup. 
we could correct a little bit more and get back down and maybe here, maybe the low 300s, 315 is possible. So we still have some more selling that could go. Got trend line support down here at 248. And then, of course, ultimately at 159.43. So it could, it could, it could correct a lot more because it's run up so big. So we'll, we'll be watching Ethereum and all that because you just don't know. Uh, and you know you have to trade them. You got you got to trade what you see and just not what you think. Uh, hack staying above thirty dollars. Like I said, that's a problem. My gen has just been on a tear. It did, it's been doing really well. Um, I I went ahead and took profit and got out of it. Took advantage of this continuation breakout pattern. I'll be looking to get back in it at some point. Um, Conan shop, been on the sidelines. <clears throat> Same thing with ACO. Uh, NVIDIA, I was looking to get in on the, on the short action, but uh, it didn't meet my criteria today, so did not get uh, filled. No action on that one, but there's always tomorrow. All right, so that's all I got. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover for now. Um, overall, we got some volatility to start the week off, but it's been quiet. Everyone's talking about the FOMC. And your bonds stand around 154. I don't see how they can raise rates with dropping yields. I, just, I mean, they can do whatever they want. They have all the control, but it doesn't make any sense. Technically, mathematically, how you're gonna how you're gonna make the how are you going to mess with the yields and make the long end of the yield curve vastly different than the short end of the yield curve? It just doesn't make mathematical sense. It just doesn't. There's an imbalance there, and they're looking to imbalance. They can do what they want. I think they want to th make you think that they're in control and have everything, uh, un you know, but they don't. The, the truth of the matter is they can't do anything. They've already done enough with this old paradigm, this old system. They have to roll out the new platforms. And as soon as they're ready with their blockchain technologies and whatever, they'll roll it out in time, in due time. They're not in a rush. They don't have to rush. I don't know why people think that things have to move so fast. It doesn't. Uh, it's on their timeline. And like I told you, any sell-off or crack in these markets is manufactured. You see how much power and energy these markets have had. So anything opposite of that is being done on purpose for some political agenda or purpose. All right? No one has any intentions on selling anything in these markets. They're just buying it up. You name it, they're buying it. Stocks, they're buying it. Bonds, they're buying it. Cryptocurrencies, they're buying it. It's just what it is. So anything opposite of that is because that's what they're engineering and manufacturing for whatever purpose. So with that being said, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Do yourself a favor. Come on over to PulseWaveTrading.com. Learn how to navigate these muddy algo waters. You need to rage against the machine. How can you do that if you're not armed? Get equipped. Get armed. Get financially fit to do battle with these central banks. It's the only way you're going to get economic justice and freedom. PulseWaveTrading.com. Be encouraged. Peace.